Hello everybody! I'm here to show you that writing a tune is so easy, even a dog can do it. This is Luca, he's four months old, and he's going to show you how to write a tune with a couple of um, his friends. This is Alfie, he's the boss, he's ten. And this is Ziggy, he's eight, and he's sort of like got a lot of middle child syndrome, to be frank. What we're going to do, very, very simple, we're going to put up a circle of seven dog bowls, each with a tasty treat inside, each bowl representing a different note in the scale. I will then release the dogs, and we'll be watching this from a drone from above, and the order they eat the food is the order of the notes in the tune. What could possibly go wrong? Ow! Stop it! Lucas, stop eating me! Now, now, ah! No, don't eat the camera! No, <laughs> no, 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 not yet! Okay, ready, steady, go! Here they come! Here come the tune writing hounds! Who's gonna go first? Boys, come on, quick! Food, food, food! What? Oh, boys, boys, food, food! Look, you daft apeth! Okay, quick, come on, eat, 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 eat! What's this? What's this? What's this? Come on! Well done, Alfie! Two more to go, two more notes! Perfect! There you go! Right, so the dogs have now written the tune, now we've got to go and work out exactly what order they ate all the chicken and everything. Well done, boys! Um, we've had a look at the video and we've analysed in great detail exactly the order in which the dogs ate the um, food. So from C right the way round to B. And this is it, OK? There's the magic number. So, so this is the order in which they um, uh, ate from the bowls. We're only counting the first time a dog eats from each bowl. So it goes seven, which map this into the key of uh, C major. Note seven is B. Uh, note, the second note is note six, which is A. Then they went for bowl three, which is E. Then it was uh, note two, which is D. Note five, which is G. Note one, which is C. And finally, um, note four, which is F. So we got... That! Not bad! Well done, boys! Now... It sounds like a proper tune. It's completely random. Do we need rhythm in there? What we mainly need is some form of chord structure to go with it. So what I'm going to do first of all is just use the absolutely bog standard chords. One, four and five in um, C major and see what happens. So we're starting on a B. Sounds like him, sounds horrid. I think we can do better than that. So let's use some other chords, let's move in to get, get some... Uh... Inversion, putting E in the bass. Sounds better. Um, I'm still not happy. Uh... Suspension! B is the second note of uh, is a second above the root of eight minor, so we can have a suspended second, and then actually we could do the same there. So it's suspension, suspension. Sounds nice. But it's only the first phrase, and were the dogs able to go out and eat more food, they'd probably do, I don't
Good job, dogs. Right, I'll tell you what, let's just have a very quick go at a bit of an arrangement, okay? Right, passage of time. I've just done a very quick arrangement and this is what uh, the dog tune sounds like. Got to come up with a better tune. Uh, Canis Mirabilis. Uh, no, uh, it's a dog's life. I don't know. Um, dog Wars. No, I don't know. Them. There you go. That is how to write a tune using dogs. It is by far the easiest way to write a tune, as you can clearly see. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please <coughs> click the subscribe button. Um, there's all kinds of goodies for you to download below. Um, things like our seven essential techniques guide uh, to how to make your sample orchestration sound better and all that kind of thing. So subscribe, hit the notifications thing and download the um, thing underneath this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, my warm thanks to Alfie, Ziggy and Luca and we'll be back very soon. See you soon.